All right, I'm back, and this time I'm with Crowfall. I haven't played this in a little bit. I um, figured I would log in and check some of the uh, any changes they've made. Um, I pretty much just log into this and, and change my skills out. Um, it's kind of an interesting skill system. It's kind of tries to to mimic a time-based system of Eve Online, um, a little bit different uh, than that, but same same idea as far as training skills is concerned. Um, so let's see what we got here. I'll, I will check my skills again. So I have one missing and some are training. Um, what do I want to do? Let's go crafty again. So this is the the skill system in uh, in Crowfall right now and they're, they're early alpha stage. Um, and you see the servers over here, they're basically uh, um, testing various elements of their of the of, of the the game itself right now they're kind of in like a large scale um, world larger worlds and uh, some PvP testing and uh, crafting and whatnot testing so a little bit of everything at this point um, nothing final of course and uh, you do have skills um, from your skill tree you can train um, well if you had a depending on how the this, this system works you can train a certain number of skills at a time for archetypes they're basically classes you can uh, train up to three at once. So I'm training, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, a tank skill or knight skill, I guess. Um, which one am I training? Armor. And then I'm training two specialists: the ranger, his training skill, and the duelist. Duelist is kind of the ranger's typical ranger, and duelist is uh, kind of like the uh, the stealthy kind of character that uses. Uh, pistols and, and swords so they're training and but you can also train a um, a general skill that affects all the archetypes so and that ran out I don't know when it ran out so kind of wasting time by not training it but that's all right um, I guess we'll start in the crafting basics so I've, I've moved through the tree I don't know if that's mass production can I train that no why can't I train that even though I'm there Say you must train one or more prior skills in this tree. Doesn't this count as one or more? Hmm. Maybe it doesn't. Or maybe you have to train like one of everything or one of each set. I don't know. All right, so we'll just keep going down this path. Experiment points. Uh, more experiment points. Uh, yeah. What's this? Increase assembly success. Assembly success, assembly success. I'm not sure why there's three skills to do exactly the same thing. It seems kind of redundant. But uh, whatever. All right, here's factories. Factories aren't even in the game yet, from what I understand. So, so I guess it doesn't really matter what I train here. Um, what's this? Necromancy recipes. Rune recipes. Uh, Maybe maybe I should do exploration. Exploration. I train a little bit here. But the problem with like this is that this is like knotting, not not wood, which is the, the 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 simplest wood, and then you have slag, which is or cobblestone, which is basic rock, and then slag, which is the worst ore. You know, I don't know why I'd want to train that. You know, to get to kind of some of these things. I don't know. Actually, I wonder, since I've trained quite a few of this, can I train any specialties? Um, let's go with potions. 100 points in alchemy basics. So where's alchemy? Crafting. So how many points have I spent in here? I guess I don't know. Or is alchemy one of these? Let's see. Right here. Okay, so maybe I can do what is this? Rune making. Is there a rune making? Advanced. Yeah. So I probably can train that. Yep. So let's do that. Assembly success. Alright, so that's training. And this will take if I hover over it. To finish training this completely will take three uh, three days basically. So it'll do a step by step for five minutes thirty nine and that gets bigger and bigger as it goes and you get a small bonus for that. Uh, every every tick essentially, but it'll take three days to fully train this to 100. So we'll just I guess for three days I'll let it sit. 
what's this, 10 days on that, 3 days on that, another 16 and a half days on that, or 16 days on that. All right, so now that's done. Let's let's get to playing. All right, so again, skills are your skills. Um, campaign. Let's choose a world. So there's PVE. This is probably just for manufacturing, testing, uh, crafting, and gathering. Um, I'm also looking at the number of people in the server. This is a free for all, which means everyone versus everyone. There's eight people. I'm going to try this one right here. I won't run into anyone, but uh, I've got a good ping. So let's let's test that one. Join match. Um. All right. So we're on. Did it join? It's joining. Okay. Hopefully this works. Yeah, you know, it's pre-alpha, so it's a little buggy. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we run into bugs here and there. But I have played this a little bit the other day. Um, but not much. I do have some resources, I believe, but uh, not very many. I just tested it to make sure that it would log in and work. So, we'll see. Now, there's only eight people, and there's three factions, I believe, um, in this server. So, I'd be surprised if you run into anyone else besides my own faction. So with this game, uh, when you start the game, uh, you right now in this particular thing, I won't have any equipment of any kind. I'll have like basic rune of like an axe so I can cut down trees, but that is it. So, oh, it started where I was last time. So I think I, where's my base? So last time I logged in here, the base was somewhere over there, and I just ran up here and uh, tried to see how high I could get and whatnot. So. Anyway, I guess we'll work our way down. Hopefully don't die. I'm jumping down the mountain. Do I have any items? Oh, I do have four boar hide. And you have something called a spirit bank. Um, spirit bank, can we move these now? Nope. So a spirit, so if you die, people can loot anything that you have on you and in your inventory. To prevent that, you can, you can take that stuff and move it to the spirit bank. It takes two minutes to move it to the spirit bank, so just a little X. So for those two minutes, you can't use it again. Um, and then if you want it out of here so you can craft with it, you can move it back. And again, it takes two hours, um, or two hours. It takes two minutes to move it back, I think it is. Then you can craft and you can do whatever and move everything here. So anything over here is safe, and anything in here can be looted by someone if they kill you. This is open world PvP. Um, it should be interesting to see how it goes. Uh, again, most of these gear slots work. Uh, accessories is not. Disciplines do not. So they're still working on a lot of the game. Uh, here's all my stats. Interesting. It's interesting that they didn't just connect that right here because that would seem to be logical, but I don't know. The crafting window. So basic armors, basic weapons. Basic, so lots of crafting stuff we can do. All right. So the first thing we can do, as we have no equipment, we have no weapon, so none of my abilities are useful. I can punch, probably. Oh, punch. Yep. So the first thing we need to do is get some trees to make a better, better rune, or better, or uh, make a tree so I can make either basic weapons with wood or some more runes so I can break up cobblestone and ores. Um, that's basically what it is. So as you can see from here, We've got uh, almost all the same type of tree. There's a different type of tree, some different types of trees, and they are different. These ones are not wood. Um, I'm not sure what type of tree that is, maybe maple or something, and those are... Uh, I'm not sure, actually. I'll go down and check it out. There's some ore, whatever that is, whatever ore that is, and then cobblestone is just basic rock. So let's get down there. And I don't know where I am anymore. From when I, from when I started, um, so I could be in like an enemy territory. I might be not. I may not be. So we'll see. So basic knotwood. So use my the basic tool you always get is the axe. It's just a basic uh, axe to cut down trees and stuff. So 
and food. Food is required. Uh, if you look on the top right, top left, I mean, you have like that food bar there. If you run low on food, eventually, um, you start stop losing regeneration, health regeneration, and then I don't know if you can die from not eating. Um, but that's basically how that works. There's some more ore over over there in that direction. Now I don't know if people can hear you cutting down trees, so if someone's around, they could come kill me and take everything I just I just got here. So let's work our way to these different types of trees. I'm kind of curious what kind of wood they are, and different woods are different rarities offer different uh, uh, qualities or bonuses, I believe. So there's a dead person right there. That doesn't bode well. Frames are a little choppy for some reason. Anything in you? No. Nope. I don't even know what team they're on. Yeah, so that person died. Who knows if they... There's no... I don't see any beasts in the world right now. There are beasts, but I don't know where they're at. So, let's see. A rank 5 oak. Can I cut this down with this basic... I can. It'll take a while, but I can. So I just leveled up rune making novice tier one one point. So the question I guess is, did that actually do anything, <laughs> or did it give me some really minor bonus like point zero zero one rune making bonus? Gathering takes stamina. Um, stamina comes back pretty quick, but I have to say I'm not a fan of stamina gathering. I think it's just an artificial way to slow you down. And in a PvP game where this sort of stuff is important, all I all I do if I was attacking someone is wait till they're stamp, wait till they've cut, you know fully cut down a tree, <laughs> and then attack them because I know they'd be low on stamina. But I guess it's part of the strategy. So this whole big tree gave me two apples and one wood, one oak wood. So far. There is sound. I believe I have the audio turned down. So. Oh, I didn't get anything. Let's go to this mode. Global. Uh, me. So we'll go global. Global is between all servers, I believe. So it's not just. Um, it's not just this server. I, I believe Scorn West is this server. Me, I, that's probably combat information. Should be gathering too, but I didn't see anything show up there. And then global is all the servers. So, so like a, I, that's probably only for testing too. I don't know if they would add that. Otherwise, so we'll just look around a little bit. What kind of tree is this? So we have knotwood, which is the basic. We had maple, and we've got little five ash. And the question was, was the knotwood ash too? I don't know. Or was the knotwood level five, rank five? Let's cut down. Not sure about this um, system right here where the you cut it down, you have to go get it. I don't know about that. It's a little weird. Wait, my stamina regens. So, I mean, for for an alpha version of the game, it's not bad as far as the. You know, the controls the controls are better definitely from when I played it originally it was really stiff before and it, at least non-combat feels more manageable and combat did get better um, from one of the other times I did play it so, so at this point if I did get attacked by a player there's almost no unless they were you know had no weapons or armor there's no way I could I defend myself so, Alright. I do need to know we need more wood though. I'm not gonna I don't think I'm gonna bother with this. I'm just not what I'll get out. I must have a rune hammer. Oh it's cobblestone. There we go, not wood. I think uh, because I have this skill, I think do I have did I get that skill with not wood? I don't remember. But I think not wood's gonna be easier for me because it's rank one. So I'll just cut down not wood from now on. Um, I have a higher chance of getting more resources that way. 
So, and someone could be anywhere. I just don't know where. And maybe I walked off so far that I don't even know where I'm at. They don't know. No one, you know, obviously one person's been out here, but you never know. Oops. Gotta stay aiming at it. So I think I have probably enough wood, but let's let's play it safe here. Let's get a couple more. Two more trees, this one and the one in front of me. Go from there. So there's no one, okay. Finish off this tree, we'll get that last tree. Frames are a little low, like I said before. It feels kind of off because of it, but still playable. And other people can see you cut down trees, so it's not just a you know client side you're in only. People will hear that and see that. Um, all right, so let's go hide behind here real quick. I don't know how high. Let's hide right here, so we can kind of see. I see around us. Okay. Um, inventory? Okay. Let's open the spirit bank. Let's put in the oak. Yes. And the. Why aren't they stacked? Ashwood. Ashwood. That's weird. Uh, I guess we'll just. I'm not sure why they're different. Different quality, maybe? That doesn't, that doesn't show it. They look visually the same. Well, this one looks a little bit lighter than this one. Ash and ash. Oh, the background. This is grayish, and this is normal, I guess. So if you look, this is kind of a, this is green, gray, black, gray, black. So I guess there is a little bit of. Oh, that scared me. Thing there. Okay, let's, we do have some cobblestone. So let's grab that. Um, can I eat? No. Oh, I don't know. Close. So let's eat this. Uh, each apple gives me half a stack. Okay. Inventory. Um, wrong one. This one. Let's put the rest of the food in there. Can I stack it like that? No. Yes. All right. Just so that I have more food. All right. So while we're waiting for the cobblestone to transfer. It's only four units, so it's not really that much. Um, go around real quick. I don't see anyone. Okay, so let's craft. Let's see, basic weapon. Um, basic one-handed sword, wood and stone. Okay, and I'm a knight, so I also use a shield. So basic shield, wood, 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 or wood, wood, stone. Takes six, though. So six, six, and six. So I have enough for that, but what about the sword again? Um, six and six, so twelve. So I can make a basic sword, or let's make tool. So one, one, and one. Since you can start out with only wood, I'm guessing this gives me the hammer, so I can do... Hammer, so I can make cobblestone next. Call it basic hammer, that's fine. Craft it. Take it. Alright. Let's can I right click equip it? No, oh, close that. Right click. Okay. As you see right there, it's here. If I hit C, I believe. Is it C for character sheet? No. Uh, P. Now it's it's installed. I can also get a, a better axe, a rune axe too. I'm not sure what materials I need for that, but I can I can definitely do it. So now um, alt. Actually, it's there. So let's make let's, uh, uh, J. Um, another tool. This time instead of wood, 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 let's go wood, wood, stone. That should give me a pickaxe, probably. Yep, pick. Now I can get some real metals. So, take. And it's equipped, you can see here. All right. 
I still don't have any weapons, and I probably don't have enough to make weapons, so let's... Break up some cobblestone and some more trees. And gather. So, again, it's if it's hit or miss whether I'll, I'll run into any PvP here. Um, but the server didn't have a lot of people on it this, this particular time right now. So... And this isn't, I'm not like, I'm not bored playing this. I'm, I'm more of an explorer type anyway, so. And then combat when it matters. So for me, PvP, just a PvP is not really fun. Um, I, I just don't, it's not, it's not, for me it has no purpose. Just to kill someone because I can kill them doesn't really have any impact. So. I guess it's supposed to be about the fun, right? Of killing them, but. Like right now, I don't even have any weapons, so... I don't know, like I said, I, I'm an objective person. It has to be, there has to be an objective to, to kill someone. Like, I'm taking their castle or something. Killing them because they might have resources, I don't know. Some of that makes sense. But... Again, in, in this situation, this is just a t test server and stuff, so... If there's, I mean, if this was a permanent game, then maybe that would be fun. Actually, it probably would be. If I were there on the opposite team, then yes, I probably would try and kill them so that... To slow them down from their, you know, their process so that we can... My team has a better chance of, of killing them. But on the test server, really no point, in my opinion. Wood. I definitely took. I need at least 18 wood, right, for the sword. And then for the sword and shield, it was at least 18, I believe. And then cobblestone, I need at least 12. So. If I get attacked, I'm going to try and put my stuff in my inventory ASAP. Um, so, and then. Yeah, we'll go from there. Now the worst part would be if you made all the gear and then you get attacked right away and you die, and then you have to regather everything. So you spend all your time gathering. That could get boring, for sure. Okay, I don't see anyone. We're in kind of a little area right here. All right, inventory. So, 20, so I have enough of that. I just need some more cobblestone. But now that I'm thinking about it, I think the, the difference in wood would be like durability. So, right now, anyway. So. And as you use stuff, it, it breaks down. I don't know if you can repair stuff. Um, or if you just need to replace it. I'd be fine with either, honestly. Actually, I'm more fine with uh, no repair, and you simply replace. But... Alright, so... Last time I played this, I found there's a spawn point right there in the background. You can barely see it. But directly back there is a spawn point. The last time I played this, um, I found that. Uh, so I think I'm good on that. Let's, let's make some stuff. That potions really helped uh, the, the gathering process. So you use potions and then you gather 10 times the resources. And they last for 10 minutes. So for 10 minutes, all you do is gather resources, but you can gather a lot with potions. I don't know if they've changed that or anything, but we'll see. All right, so basic armor. Can I make, make this? That no, requires ore. Ore, woodstone. So we can't make armor, but we can make the weapons. Let's start with the sword. So that was just so six of this and six of this. Can I stack that now? Yeah. Assemble. So it's got a basic sword, 750 durability. 
damage slashing. Pick. All right, and then um, I'm gonna need a shield because I'm that's the type of I'm a knight. So wood, wood, stone, assemble. So I'm gonna durability, small buckler. Take. All right, let's eat two apples. Or I guess just one apple, but I crit on that or something. Um, spirit bank. Let's put all this stuff in the spirit bank. The rest of these things. I don't want to gather them later. Let's go see if we can find something to kill. That's more exciting than gathering. Um, for video purposes, anyway. And again, I could gather all these trees and make all sorts of stuff, but it's just going to get wiped eventually. So, probably sooner rather than later. So we're going to go to the, the spawn point over here and be an evil spawn camper. If we can. I don't know if we can or not. And normally I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't play like that, but... Um, in this instance, I'm going to. I spent over a half hour probably gathering resources. So now it's time for some action. I believe I joined the balance side. You can join chaos, um, balanced, or whatever the uh, the other faction is. Some good faction or whatever. The knights of good faction. Oh, there's the houses. Um, So the flags, actually, there; those are balanced flags. So this is my spawn point. Okay. I could put all my equipment in the spirit bank, too, if I wanted as well. Um, so you can make equipment and put it in the spirit bank, as long as you have availability. And here's where you can change your classes, um, or your archetypes. You just go up here and you change. I don't know if you turn into a crow and then switch to it, or if you immediately switch to it. Um, in fact, let's uh, uh, P. Wait, didn't I equip my gear? Like, where to go? Oh, it's in here. Oh, okay. I must have just put it in there. All right, so let's take these and put them in here. All right, so everything that I have. Did it go in? It looks like it's getting put in. All right, so let's switch to the um, to the range over here. Let's see what happens. Oh, I guess you drink from the water. And you can customize your look. I'm going to choose blank, 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 and blank. New name, Dacket. I use Dacket for almost every game. I play Dacket or Kittle. All right, so that's how it's, that's pretty simple. Um, for switching classes. Look, I have arrows. That's great. I just have no bow. I can punch though. All right, what do I have to do to make a basic bow? Uh, twelve wood. Uh, do I have twelve wood? Four, five, six. Nope. But I could transfer that and that. I probably don't even have arrows, do I? Um. I guess we should look to see where I need to make arrows. Basic arrows, one wood. Okay, well that's good. I just need wood, so we can get up and running. Oops, much quicker here. So let's let's get some arrows, and then we'll go see if we can find someone to attack. 
Uh, F. Yeah, I know it's not terribly exciting, um, but you know the cyber testing has to be done. Come on, gather it. See, that I mean, like the having to run around in circles trying to gather our stuff is not cool. <laughs> and people can actually run up and steal this stuff too. Even people on your on your own team and stuff. So. I guess you, if you were working with someone, you could you could be chopping down while they gather, and then you know wait you're waiting for your stamina to regen. You know they're chopping down and you're gathering, so. But but a hostile person could just run by and grab it and just keep running if you can't catch them. So, so I cut down a whole tree for one log. Yay. What I need, I need 12 plus arrows. I wonder if I make one arrow at a time. That's going to be bad. It's probably going to be 500 arrows at a time, or 100 arrows. That would be really bad if it was only one arrow. Do you hear that? Or is that just me? Thought I heard something. See, so you hear that? Maybe someone just spawned. If they did, they'd be on my on my side. I think so. I'd be okay. But. Uh, Flick of the Blade, Tier 4. I wonder if there's a safe zone around here so you can't get spawn camped. Like inside that shield, or inside those flag areas. There better be. I don't see anyone, so... Alright, let's see if we can... Oh. Can hear that? Ah, Alt. So there was someone right there. And they're on my team, as you can see from the, the symbol next to their thing. Swacker is the name. All right, let's see if we can make a basic bow now. So we need 12, there's 12, six, and six. Assemble. Next, next. Take. All right, and then basic arrow. Twenty-five arrows. Okay, that's piercing arrows. Probably need more than twenty-five. So. There's 50. We'll just make all the arrows for this wood here. I probably won't go through that many, of course. And someone will just loot the rest, but no biggie. Actually, no, what I'll do, I'm going to make, I want to put 50 of them in the spirit bank. That way I have them just in case, or maybe, maybe more than 50. Maybe a 75 in the spirit bank. All right, take, close. So we right click, we've equipped. Um, can I break this? Control, shift. Uh, here we go. Oh, half is 60, okay. Let's go spirit bank. Let's put um, 62 in here. 
Yes. Why do I have a wood? I thought I maybe I canceled some that. All right. Close that. Right click on that. Let's eat two of these. So now I have. Uh, wait, how do I? All right. Oh, so I have all my abilities now. Um, this will go to the house. Actually, let's see what the abilities are. So I can hold the button down and attack. I can hit one, which is like a rapid fire. Two, some sort of stun. Three, the targeted area. Oh, it's a bomb. Four or five. Four. Another targeted area. Shoot arrows. I hope I'm not using. I'm using arrows every time I shoot that. <laughs> That's great. Five. And another targeted area. So, like a little mine. And then six with six. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure what that did. Is that it? I'm going to pause the game right here. I'll be right back. All right. Sorry. I had paused the game there for a second. I had delivery. Um, I, there is a way to check your skill. What is it? I just... Y T or U I O P L. There we go. All right, so I click on. Okay, so I can look at so rapid fire, ricochet shot, uh, suppression, barrage, launch explosive trap, archer stake. What does that do? Um, create an archer stake at the feet of the caster. Oh, so it gives me a bonus. Okay, it's like a, a buff. I wonder if it just works for me as for everyone. And then sustain, which is C, which is my special power. Um, Lifesteal. Huh. And then basic attack and some rolls and stuff. Tray 2. I guess I don't have a tray 2. Alright, so that's interesting. Let's see if we can find anything. I'm going to look for a little while longer. If I don't find anything, then uh, I'll probably end the video right there. So these little houses, they have little chests you can gather stuff from. Um, the stuff you gather in the chest is better than, in most cases, is better than the stuff that you can gather yourself. So At least in the same time frame. There's some ore right there. I'm not sure. Silver or something. So we'll check these houses and then uh, call it good. So not a very exciting video, but if, if it's a if you have never played the game before and you're you've heard about it and you want to see you know some of what it is, this is some of what it is. <laughs> um, so at least some of what, how it is right now. So hopefully, I, I would like it. Of course, I, I know why they, they used to have servers that were combat only. Um, and it would be objectives, probably some gold right there. Um, like uh, capture the castle or free for all or things like that, but I think the reason they took those out is is right now no one would test this open world stuff <laughs> in the crafting and gathering if all you had was the combat um, worlds. So it'd be nice if they did put them in though. I, I, that way I could actually fight rather than craft and gather all the time, which is it's just fine. I don't mind crafting and gathering, but it just seems like they need to. Did I go in these? I'm confused. Oh, so I can take that. Right click, right click. Actually, I don't know which house is I was in. Yeah, I can jump high. Right click, right click. I stack. Or are they? 
different types of meat or or boar hide and elk hide. Okay, they're both green though. Um, so. All right, what do we got here? Gold. I don't have a pickaxe to gather that anyway. So I guess if I don't find anyone by the time I loot all these houses, I'll call it good for this video. And this will be a general gameplay video where you have to gather resources and make your weapons and stuff. A little bit of exploring. Eventually you'll be able to make houses like this. I don't know in, in the open world if you'll always be able to do it, but uh, eventually they will have it. That's in this house. So uh, I can't loot anything. So this house is just here for visual as well. My frames dropped quite a bit when I walked in there. All right, so this was Crowfall. Um, again, early access, um, and this, and they're just testing like the big open world, probably performance and gathering and and crafting and combat a little bit. So, yeah, it's quite interesting. Um, check out other people's videos. Check out uh, the website Crowfall.com, I believe, uh, if you if you think it's interesting. Thanks for watching.